What's happening, YouTube land? Got some people out here. Want to see some batteries being built. Uh, got some aluminum wire there. Some copper wire there wrapped around dowel rods. Stuck through a cap to a aluminum bottle you pick up from the grocery store. Real simple design. So what we got here is we got pencil lead, graphite, mixed with powder with alum, and, and, and stirred up to the point where it's gray and black. Um, probably a pack of pencils, a box of 10, 15, 10 or 20 pencils, and a uh, small bottle of alum uh, mixed in that with distilled water. We just filled up the alum bottle. It was halfway full. Um, I filled it up with, with pencil lead. Those all those pencil leads, and uh, probably two an inch and a half, two inches from the top, a uh, full bottle of alum. I just mixed pencil lead in it and shook it up till it turned grayish black. Um, a little graphene test, and uh, mixed it with the distilled water. So these parts, the metal parts, the copper wire and the, al and the aluminum wire in the solution for a couple of days and saw a constant voltage of a half a volt, 0.56 um, mixed with the aluminum just sitting in the, in the liquid. Of course the aluminum solidified and it stayed hard, got hard again, but uh, yeah, the, the actual solution stayed on the electrodes for a day and I, I found that when you added electricity conventional current uh, the copper tends to extremely do decay like overnight will decay with minimal voltage um, but the aluminum was amazingly aluminum was fine I'm guessing that there's a chemical electrical reaction between the aluminum and the copper and when that happens through, through an electrolyte that you get positive charge um, and I, I'll prove it and here's a meter reading it's going to be kind of difficult because I only have one hand and no camera mount so we're going to do the best we can so let's uh, I want to set this down for just a minute Okay, I got that jammed in that little hole where the alum is poured out and uh, stuck in there on the aluminum with a positive lead. But now I'm going to tap this uh, this copper here. Okay, uh oh. The voltage is raised since, I been, since last night. It's at uh, 0 0.6, 6 tenths of a volt. And it, and it, and it stays pretty close there. Uh, this was put together last night uh, with the, the electrical tape. I took it out of the solution, wet a paper towel with the distilled water that had the alum and graphite in it. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's holding steady at five tenths of a volt, almost six tenths of a volt, you know. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see. I'll give another a video maybe a week or two from now and, and see if it kept its voltage up. Um, I'd really like to build like a fat a 555 timer uh, circuit to to run off this you know a pulsar circuit. Um, I have an Arduino, but I don't think it. I don't know if I can do the same things with it. A little Uno board. But um, leave me a comment if you if you know anything about that stuff about running a you know a timed op amp to to maybe get some power off of this thing and, and really see what it can do. Um, I'd be interested to know. I mean, copper sheets and, and aluminum. I mean, that's aluminum foil and uh, engraving copper. You could pick it up, make sheets of that, make some nice batteries. I mean, it's for next to nothing. And uh, if all it takes is a little bit dampness of that solution to... Uh, and, and really, I mean, it's not even wet anymore. It's, it's damp, you know, but... You can see there's a hole in the bottom where it could leak out, and it, I mean, there's a 
tiny droplet of water. No, that's just my dirty counter. So, I don't know. I mean, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of, uh, of this idea. I mean, it, it produces electricity. There's no doubt in my mind because, like I said, just the solution and then the solution and uh, stuck to a paper towel know, wrapped between the electrodes, that, that still produced, uh, produced electricity, even though the, the cloth is not completely wet. I mean, I want to say that I'm harnessing graphene, but I don't, I don't know, I would hope. I mean, the, the, the graphite is so fine in there, it's almost powder. Um, I know when I saw it laid out in sheets, or burned onto a disc, a DVD disc, that it went retarded and got mad amounts of power for a long time. Uh, I don't know. Let, let, let me know what you think. Maybe I could, y'all could help me build a five 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 timer circuit. I have all the all the parts for that. You know, I just the re controls for the resistance is what I'm resistance controls is what I'm kind of boggled about. You know, should I get like a five k poten potentiometer or something? But anyway, that's another video. This is a uh, this is my alum aluminum uh, alum. Here, let's say that different. This is the copper aluminum battery with alum graphite slash graphene battery. Thanks for your time, everybody.